Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's quite an exciting day because this is the first day of autonomy which means the machine can steer itself around uh, the garden behind me. Let's have a look. This is the uh, test plot and um, we've got some really good obstacles placed here. A wheelbarrow, so we do not want to crash into the wheelbarrow, whatever happens. There's a table, there's a row of plants, a football and over there can't quite see <coughs> is a big pile of logs. So yeah basically we're going to try and get the robot to go around in a loop following these um, waypoints. So these it's not gonna use cameras to um, see these or anything like that. It's, these are the GPS uh, waypoints. So the waypoints go around here and uh, through there. So uh, I've spent quite a few days testing it and <coughs> So far I've managed to crash into the raspberries quite a few times, which is quite fun. No damage done to the machine. Some raspberries got squashed. So let's um, go inside. Oh, here's, here's the machine. Under its canopy. It has been raining today, which uh, is a bit of a hazard. So it's ready to go. Here we are. Lots of um, flashing LEDs in there. It's always good. Go in to the control centre now, to the uh, control room. <coughs> it's, um, it really is just like NASA, but better. And uh, we even eat peanuts. So here we are in the control centre. So we've got a live camera feed on here uh, with sound, and on there is that's our Python code. Uh, I spent hours there working that stuff out and <clears throat> it's all ready to to um, start up I think so we're just going to start it up in a LX terminal on a Raspberry Pi which is under, under here I can't really see it, it's under, under there anyway got these joysticks connected to it and one of the joysticks um, controls a gimbal on the camera which is quite nice so oh, it's not running yet let's um, run the program Joystick, no, start joystick node. So it's a, yeah, it's a Ross node. And there it goes. Joystick node has started. Let's see if the gimbal's working. Yeah, yes, there it is. Yeah, very nice. So we can control the camera, which is great. When you're driving a car around a, a corner, you need to be able to look to the left or the right. Just, to, uh, it's just the same for a robot. It's quite nice. So you just have a little bit of a peep around when necessary. Excellent. So I'm going to use the um, camera on the left and the joysticks on the right. So here we are. Here's my throttle joystick. And I'm looking at all the readings on here as well. <laughs> so it's quite complicated. But let's just edge it forwards. So <clears throat> at the moment none of the waypoints are done. It's just uh, going to try and come up on that um, first one there which is visible on the screen it's like um, a little wooden block there on the <coughs> on the sort of mid left bottom mid bottom left and according to the screen we're 367 mm, um, units away from it I don't know what the, the measurement is but it doesn't really matter just like call it units to start, uh, for now I'm just edging forwards to zero and then after it's gone past zero <coughs> it should start um, automatically steering um, because it um, takes a little bit of while to fill the um, heading buffer, which is at the top. It says array previous GPS X values and Y values, so that's the buffer, heading buffer. So when that's at full, it will start um, having a heading value. It's not even reached uh, the first marker yet, which is marker zero. So let's just edge it onto zero. There we are. Oh, hey, we've got a header buffer. Wow, <clears throat> right, so it's now started to automatically steer. So the machine needs to turn left and turn values 403. That looks about right. Uh, if we look at the camera, yeah, it leads to turn left a little bit. Uh, notice that the first waypoint is done, see that in red. So yeah, judging by the camera, it needs to turn left a little bit because that'll be the, the next waypoint, which is waypoint one. So let's just edge over that one. Actually, I think waypoint one's on the far left bottom. 
uh, yeah, so it's steering nicely. Uh, dot product angle of minus 25 degrees, and the turn value is 382, and the actual steering angle, which is uh, recorded by a sensor on the machine, is 382, so that's pretty good as well. And it's not oscillating, um, the turning's not uh, moving backwards and forwards, which it was before, which is good. All systems are nominal, so let's just edge it forwards. I'm not going to try and just like race it round, because this is seriously the only only the second time I've managed to do this circuit like um, autonomously. So I'm just controlling the throttle, I'm not making any steering movements. Uh, I just want to take it really easily because yeah, it's, um, it's still very much like a le learning um, experience here. So ooh, we're on waypoint um, 2 now, so waypoint 0 and 1 has been um, done. See that in red, waypoint is done. So the machine, ooh, there we go, it's moving. Just about to see the next waypoint there, uh, bottom of the camera, slightly left, a uh, little bit of a um, wooden block, and yep, it, everything looks nominal. Let's just edge it forwards. So it's still trying to turn left, uh, minus eight degrees apparently. So oh yeah, there we go. It's trying to turn right now, just only one degree though. <clears throat> That's still good. Hopefully it won't drive into the raspberries ahead, which it normally does, or well, it has been for quite a long time. So let's see. Will it turn right? Will it turn right sharp enough? This is the question. Let's edge it forwards, see if it'll avoid the raspberries. So far, well, we can see another waypoint there, just like on the right hand side, on the bottom slightly. Let's see if we can get past that without crushing it. Yes! It's avoided! The raspberries! Hooray! Thank goodness! And there's the next waypoint there! Look at that! We're right on it! This is fantastic! I love that! So this waypoint is right in the middle of the screen now. Super accurate! Whoa! We are now on waypoint number six! Oh! Oh! This is so good! I'm just like pausing the machine every now and again just to let it um, adjust its steering. The steering's sort of quite slow and steady. I mean, the RAM on the steering is powered by 12 volts and it's it's capable of delivering like nearly half a ton of force, uh, but it's just a bit slow, uh, slow and steady. So yeah, we can see the next waypoint there on the right, uh, just in shot the camera, just like that little wooden square. And we're now on waypoint six. Let's just edge it forward. We've got oh, uh, 194 units, so it'll um, it's almost, oh, no, it's on waypoint 7 already. I can't see waypoint 7 on the screen. Yeah, it's giving us turn value of 528, which is quite sharp right, which is pretty much what it needs. Let's look, <coughs> let's just move the camera. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can see the next waypoints there. Uh, maybe there's, oh, there, yeah, yeah, that's the one there. So it's great to be able to move the camera, see where we are. That's like a really nice little feature. So let's just edge forwards and hopefully this thing will, s will turn sharp enough to avoid going into those bushes. So it's got stuck in that long grass there a few times. Let's see, it's yeah, steering <coughs> quite sharply at the moment. Um, steering value is 605. So let's see if it'll come through onto the straight and narrow again. Oh yes, there we are. Look, we're right on the pathway. This is good, and we're now on waypoint nine already. Excellent. So steering looks nice and steady. Let's just like uh, zap forwards here. I can't even see the next waypoint. I think it's in the middle of this little strip somewhere. The so steering angle is like uh, two degrees. So this is good because we do not want to steer anyway. Because I can just about see the waypoint. There it is. Right in the middle of the screen, as it should be. This is perfect. So it's coming right onto this waypoint, and onto uh, we're already on waypoint ten, which is in the distance. We can't see that one yet. Uh, it's telling us to turn left slightly, which is correct according to the camera. So let's zap, zap forwards. Yes, uh, it's turning right slightly. Um, what's it doing now? It's indicating it wants to turn left slightly. 
uh, with a negative value of dot product. I say dot product, that's because uh, it uses a um, special vector mathematics to calculate the uh, steering angle, which is quite exciting. Um, last time I built a robot, I used um, quadrants, which was like pretty pretty poor in comparison to the uh, maths that I'm using now. So let's edge onto this waypoint. We've got a series of waypoints there, there's three of them. Let's just um, have a closer look at this one, there it is. So there's three there, three little um, wooden um, panels. Uh, that noise you can hear is the, um, uh, the gimbal turning. It's a little bit delay on the audio, the actual video is really good, it's, it's hardly got any lag at all, I'd say about 100, um, 150 milliseconds, which is pretty good. Uh, it's not like we're playing a computer game. The uh, machine is um, quite a slow machine anyway, it's not like a racing machine. Let's edge it forwards and see if it'll turn around here. Now this has been the hardest part of the whole thing. We're on waypoint 11. Waypoint 11 has caused loads of problems. So let's just allow the steering. Right, so the machine does, it thinks it needs to turn left. I think it needs to turn right. But hey, let's just edge it forwards. Will it hit the log pile? This is the question. So, yeah, it's now indicating that it's going to turn right, but not by very much. Um, so only thinks it needs to turn 18 degrees. So. It's touch and go whether it goes into the log pile now. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. No, uh, the angle needs to be much steeper than this. But let's just carry on and see what happens. And let's just see how close we are to that long grass. Uh, well, it's got a little bit of. Um, room for manoeuvre, but it really needs to take this sharp turn here. And will it do it? Oh, it might do. There, uh, that waypoint's only just there, so maybe it'll do it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just edge it forwards a little bit. Just take this turn really slow. Okay, it's um, <clears throat> got a dot product angle of 33 degrees now. Oh, that will that happen? That's not good, is it? Um, steering turn value is. Um, oh, we lost it there. What happened? I think I'd better move forward. Okay. So, only 12 degrees. Ah. Is it going to get around this corner? It doesn't look like it. Ah, we've got a really steep turn value now, here, so maybe it will. If I just like, give it some welly around this corner, maybe it'll just come around. Yes! It made it! Unbelievable! Yes! Phew! Oh, so where's the waypoint? I can't even see it now. Um, we've passed all these waypoints. I know there's one um, further ahead there, I just can't see it in the, in the camera. So what have we got on the angle? It still thinks it needs to turn right. This is not true, it doesn't need to turn right. So maybe it's missed one out, maybe it's missed out one, I don't know. Anyway, let's see. And what's going to happen now? Ah, yeah, it's making the left turn. It's readjusting itself. This is good. I was worried for there for a minute. I thought it was going to mess up, but it hasn't. Here we go. This is the easy bit there. <clears throat> so we've got a waypoint right in front of us, just slightly left, and another one um, sort of middle, middle right. So it's on the home run. Look at this. Yeah, we're bang into the middle of that waypoint there. That's perfectly cool. So. In red we've got a nice list of waypoint is done. So we've only got three more to go, I think, four more. And then we've done the complete loop, which is totally incredible. So this is literally only the second time that um, the machine has been able to complete this uh, <clears throat> basic circuit around the gun. 
that's really exciting. Uh, it's such fun. I mean, it's taken a hell of a lot of hard work, but uh, yeah, this kind of stage when you're actually um, getting it to work like this, it's just like uh, incredible, really rewarding. So it should just come straight up now um, to the last waypoint, which is number 17. Literally got one more to go, and then that'll be the end. Here we go. How uh, much further have we got? 300, uh, 435 units to go, and it's in there! Amazing! And how many units has it got? 250 units. I can't actually see the waypoint. I don't think it's that one on the left, I think it's straight ahead. And then according to this, um, we need a minus 7 degrees turn to the left isn't much. So I think it's that one there just in the middle of the screen. Yep and we literally got 161 units to go and it's finished. There we go. So let's drive it onto there. There it is! There's our last waypoint there. This is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Right, that's the end. That is the end of the test. A successful test, by any standards, I'd say.